Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the BFS Fishing Channel. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at something really, really exciting. So this, this right here is the all new Lungzi DC. Yes, that's right, DC. So we're gonna open this box up. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna talk about some of the specs of the reel, but this is primarily just gonna be an unboxing video. I have actually gone ahead and already unboxed this reel and I couldn't help myself. I needed to try it out a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna show you guys the app or any of the use in this video, but I will be testing it very, very thoroughly because uh, there are some really cool features in the mobile app, which is unfortunately right now only in Chinese, but uh, we'll talk about that in this video and uh, let's go ahead and get this fake unboxing underway. So I just put a little bit of tape there just to kind of make it seem a little more like a real unboxing. But this is essentially how the DC air light comes. It comes in a bubble wrap inside of a regular box. And this is actually the packaging that you get your DC reel in. So, all right, so if you can see, it says the series is called the Air Light. They're still calling this the B101 or B100. So there might be some, you know, name changes and whatnot, because I think this should be called the Air Light DC or the DC Air Light, something along those lines. The weight is correct. It's 148 grams. We're going to test that in a second. The gear ratio is also the 7.1 to 1. Drag is going to be the same, 4 kilograms. And you'll see a lot of the stats are actually very, very close, if not identical, to the non-DC Air Light. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this open. And so it's nice that they kind of give you this, but... If you've noticed, this is just a metal plate that's kind of got some uh, sticky, tacky adhesive on the back. And so it kind of falls off. And so I may take that off at some point because it's not even really wanting to stay. But anyways, all right, so you open it up and you get a nice baggie. You get another spanner wrench, of course. There is a little pocket here. And because I've already actually opened this up, I've already taken out and kind of gouged out some of the, uh, the removable foam insert but this is it guys this is the actual dc reel itself so let's go ahead and set this carrying case aside so very nice that they give you that it would have been nice to see the other reel also have that as well but uh, that's okay and on initial use or initial retrieve i feel like this reel is actually smoother than the non-dc version i'm not really sure why it could be you know variance in uh you know just between reel to reel but this actually uses the same exact body as the non-DC air light. The only differences that you'll see are gonna be the spool and the side plate itself, which, so let's take a closer look at that. It says Lung DC, and then you've got a nice little button there. And this button does a couple things. It lights up, but it's also a tactile button. So you can actually control the reel without the app, but I think you're more controlling only the modes. So there's gonna be, I believe about five modes, and we'll go over and explain all of the modes in the app video that I'm gonna make in the future. I did help Lungzi kind of translate and kind of come up with a small description of all of the settings that they have for the, uh, the WeChat app. So here's the thing. In order to use the app for the Lungzi DC Reel, Lungzi DC Reel, I'm sorry, the Lungzi DC Reel, you will need the app WeChat. And then within the WeChat app, it's a mini app or a mini program, as they call it. So I've gotten a chance to use the application. And there are some things about it that I don't really like. Well, obviously, one, it's still in Chinese and it will come out in English very, very soon. But whenever you swipe away from the app or whenever you navigate away from the app in your phone, it seems like the Bluetooth connection is lost completely. And I wish that they would uh, make it so that that Bluetooth connection is preserved so that when you come back into the mini app on WeChat, that you don't have to reconnect your reel to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get some weights. Enough of me complaining about the app. And this is gonna be the all up weight with the spool installed. And they're claiming, I believe 148. And this comes in at 150.09. So that's very, very close. And we'll go ahead and get a weight on the spool itself. So this is a slightly different spool than the non-DC version. You can see that it's more heavily ported. And also they're using stainless steel NMB bearings instead of the 
orange seal ceramics, which is kind of interesting. All right, so this is coming in at 10.52 grams for the spool. So the spool is actually quite heavy, uh, but that's also with this large, very large bearing. And then it also has kind of like a weird, I'm not really sure what that's for, but uh, maybe there's magnets in there. Let me see if there's actually, let me see if there's, oh, wow, that is a magnet. Yeah, so that is, a, <laughs> that's primarily what's adding to the weight is that this center cylinder right here is a very, very strong magnet. Okay, so there's that. And then on the side plate, if you look, we've got this really interesting uh, protrusion, I guess, of sorts. And this is where all the magic happens, right? This is where the integrated circuit's in. This is where their, uh, you know, their IC is and uh, where all the control is actually happening. Now, I don't know how they're actually doing it, but I do know that they're using Lenz's Law to power their own DC, which is this, which is very, very similar to how uh, Shimano does it. From what I was told, theirs is a little bit different in that they have a lot more coils or electromagnetic coils. I'm not really sure what that means, marketing jargon maybe, but theirs is a lot more sensitive, according to them, this is a lot more sensitive than the Shimano DC. And in the app, it's got some really, really innovative settings. Like you've got the ability to, what, what really impressed me the most is there's a setting called electromagnetic assist. What they're doing is they're helping the spool overcome the moment of inertia. So the problem with casting light lures is that when your lure is cast, you have to have a spool that is gonna easily turn for you. Now, with a very large diameter spool like this, which is gonna be coming in at, let's see, let's get some measurements while I talk. So with a spool with a large diameter of about 34, I'm assuming, it's going to be the same yeah so that's 34 33.95 and an inner diameter of 25.99 so that's going to be 26 and a width of wow that magnet is so strong okay the width of 24.22 so 24.2 when you have a spool that wide or that large a diameter it's going to have a very high moment of inertia, meaning it's going to be harder to turn, harder to get it to start rolling when you cast a really light lure. And so what they've allowed you to do is by turning on that electromagnetic assist, they're helping the spool start to turn on your cast of a very light lure. I've had some really, really limited time with being able to cast one gram and it does and it does it quite easily. I don't know how far. I'm assuming just kind of based off of really rough estimates that it's going to be about the same as uh, any other reel that I've uh, cast that is very high performing like the Daiwa SSR TW, Shimano Alderbaran, Hybo Rise Air, Arc Gravity, Acura Pro, you know, those reels of that nature. One gram is like pretty easy now, but I also tried half a gram and it did cast half a gram. I don't have a distance comparison, but it does feel like it's pretty in line with what those other reels are doing. And yeah, it was interesting though. Uh, well, I'll go into you know what specific settings I use and whatnot uh, when I get to that, but the DC Lungzi reel or Longzi reel is actually really, really cool. I've, uh, I've had a lot of, um, you know, I haven't used it all that much, but uh, just from spinning it and getting you to, so, uh, just to show you some sounds, take a listen to this. So that's with it off. And I'm not really sure 100% why that's making that sound. I think it's doing that to charge the internal battery. So this does have an internal battery. It's not externally charged. It charges itself through the casting motion, but also the retrieve. Um, and it's basically Lenz's Law. And Lenz's Law states that whenever you have a non-ferromagnetic, so nothing, a metal that is non-magnetic, moving over some magnets, that that, that non-magnetic metal will have a charge induced inside of it or created inside of it. And so they're using that charge to charge the battery. Very, very smart. I mean, Shimano, like hats off to them for you know innovating on that and developing that and researching that. But I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think their patent is actually dropping on the DC tech. And so we may see more DC reels 
upcoming for the BFS segment in the near future. Do I consider this a true BFS reel? I I don't know, but I th but the fact that it can cast one gram kind of makes it a true BFS reel in my book. And Longzu rates this reel for one to 20 grams. That's a pretty wide range. So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this, you know, casting it for dink bass in my local lake, but also trying to use this in like surf BFS where I'm casting, you know, 10, 15, maybe 18 gram, you know, jig parlors, which, uh, and I wanna see how far it goes. And also casting at the beach, it's really windy. So maybe I'll try using that, uh, that one of the modes, which is the wind resistance mode. But anyways, to operate this, to turn it on and like uh, have it search for Bluetooth, you double tap and then you'll see a light come on. And then as you rotate, well, normally you got the lights on, but I may have the setting turned off right now. Yeah, anyways, I'll show you a little bit more, you know, of its operation when uh, I'm out on the water. The teardown of this is gonna be almost identical to the non-DC air light because the frame and the body is also identical. I mean, everything, almost down to the weight. This weighs a little bit more at around, uh, you know, 10 grams more. But, you know, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it still doesn't feel that heavy for a reel that's got some circuitry and a lot of magnets in it. So this is just a really quick video on the first look and first impressions of the new Longzhi DC Airlight reel. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is the uh, the future? Are you guys interested in reels like this? Are you interested in DC reels? I mean, I know this reel is gonna be quite controversial because people are not gonna wanna use an app. And uh, the good news is that you can actually use the side plate, but I still haven't figured it out yet. So I, I have a little more studying and research to do. And then once I figure it out, then uh, I'll try to make a uh, how-to video for you guys so that it's kind of easy to understand. The price of this reel is coming in at $339. And right now you can actually only purchase it off of one of the Longzhi reps. And so I'll, I'll put links and information on how to contact them in the description down below. But uh, I do believe that they will be selling these uh, on a dedicated website if you're in the US. And then if you're international, I think uh, there's multiple outlets where you can purchase it from. But uh, if you wanna know what that website's gonna be, it's gonna be Longzhi USA. Com. I believe it's Longzu or LongzuFishingUSA.com. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But right now, right now they don't actually have any stock. It says sold out. Um, and then the interesting thing is that there's also going to be a low profile version of this with the DC. I believe it's going to be the same exact DC tech. Um, but I think that that reel is actually not quite a finesse or BFS reel. From what I saw in the pictures, the spool that they had on that one, which I think is a Bates Hundo frame, the spool on that one was a little bit deeper than this one. And so I think that that's gonna be more for like traditional bass fishing. Uh, not quite finesse, but you can kind of construe it as finesse. Um, but the fact that the DC tech allows you such a wide lure range is pretty darn amazing. But let me give you guys a really, really close look. Hopefully the, uh, the camera is focusing. You can take a look at that. They did use a different thumb button on this reel, which is kind of interesting. The other air light has just a smooth finish. And in my opinion, I think the clutch mechanism or the button, the strength is a lot better on this one rather than over my copy, at least of the, uh, the non DC air light. But yeah, what do you guys think? This is, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty blown away by this reel so far. I, I really don't like that. Uh, you know, the, the fact that uh, the Bluetooth connection is broken every time you navigate away from the WeChat app. But aside from that, if they're able to fix that, I think they've got a real big winner on their hands. What I'd really like to see if they had a standalone app and not a piggybacking app off of WeChat. But who knows what they'll do. Anyways, this was a first look and unboxing of the Longzhi DC Airlight Reel. If you guys have any questions about it, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of this? If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like this and you don't like DC Reels, then go ahead and leave a thumbs down in the video. I, I'm really interested to see you know, what your guys' opinions are of DC tech in the BFS space. But anyways, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.